Hi friends, myself Dr. Darshanjani and today we learn about important topic of chemistry that is drugs, right? Also, don't miss to subscribe the channel Chemistry Online by Dr. Darshanjani. Maximum like and share the video and also hit the bell icon to get a regular notification of such important videos so friends first of all we should know about the word drugs right what is drugs so term drugs can be defined as synthetic organic compound which affect the structure and functioning of living body as well as used for diagnosis treatment and prevention of disease then such synthetic organic compound is known as drugs so these are the important point friends that is synthetic substances which is uh, which affect the structure and functioning of living body as well as used for diagnosis treatment and prevention as we have discussed also such drugs are known as medicines in our day-to-day -day life and also known as legal drugs right but friends if we are using such medicines without prescription then it will becomes harmful or addictive right so these are the important point right today we discuss about three drugs out of which first one is as we can see here ibuprofen right so which are the important points of ibuprofen so this drug is first of all defined by scientist Stuart Adams in the year 1961 as we can see here on the board that it was first of all discovered by scientist Stuart Adams in the year 1961 right then aryl acetic acid analog right this drug is belongs to aryl acetic acid analog how as we can see here that uh, in the final structure of ibuprofen we can see here aryl group and acetic acid group so it is considering aryl acetic acid derivative or analog then next one is a known steroidal anti-inflammatory drug so here we should know about uh, the word anti-inflammatory jaysa humko pata hai kabhi hume body pe koi ghao hota hai right kabhi hume lag jata hai तो जो जलन होती है विच इज़ कॉल इन्फ्लामेशन और उसके ट्रीटमेंट के लिए अगर हम कोई ऑइनमेंट या मेडिसिन यूज़ करते हैं तो उसे बोलते हैं एंटी इन्फ्लामेटरी राइट सो इट इज़ अ नॉन स्टीरोडल एंटी इन्फ्लामेटरी ड्रग्स देन थर्ड वन इज फॉर एवरी ड्रग इट इज़ इम्पोर्टेंट टू नो द आई यू पी एस सी नेम राइट सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट as we can numbering from here so it will becomes one it will two and here three and when we define the numbering in aromatic ring then it will becomes one two three four so iupsc nomenclature of this uh, drug will becomes two four isobutyl phenyl propionic acid as this part of the drugs will becomes 4 isobutylphenyl and this part will becomes propionic acid right so this will becomes the IUPAC name also we should know about the trade name or marketed name of that particular drug right so this ibuprofen drug is uh, particularly marketed or trade 
as a brufen as we are well known for this name right now the important is uh, synthesis of such drugs right so when we start the synthesis of such important drug we should know about the starting material so isobutyl benzene will becomes the starting material of this uh, important drug brufen when we carried out acylation or acetylation of such uh, isobutyl benzene as we can see here that uh, para position occupied by acetyl group and we will get para isobutyl acetophenone so here there is one question that it cannot attach at ortho position but friends as we know that uh, iso group having steric hindrance at uh, ortho position so we will get para substituted product that is para isobutyl acetophenone as a maximum product the next step for synthesis is reaction with hydrogen cyanide so in this step what will happen as we know that uh, cn minus will act as a nucleophile this uh, nucleophile will attack or uh, positively charge carbonyl carbon this pi bonding electron will be shifted over oxygen and oxygen will get negative charge and uh, this h may attach that uh, negatively charged oxygen to gives oh right so we will get cyanohydrin as a product right then after uh, this uh, cyanohydrin product we will react this intermediate first of all with uh, hydroiodic acid and red phosphorus which will cause uh, as we can see here that uh, removal of oxygen which is called reduction right right so first step is reduction of that cyanohydrin and uh, next one is hydrolysis as we know that the hydrolysis of cyano will gives acid as a product so we will get our final product that is ibuprofen so by this uh, important point as we mark here and this synthesis we can easily memorize such important drugs so friends jaise ki humne baat ki thi a drug is uh, harmful and addictive if misused उसका एक बेस्ट एग्जांपल है बेनेड्रिल जो यूज़ होता है कोल्ड और सर्दी के ट्रीटमेंट के लिए खांसी के ट्रीटमेंट के लिए जैसे आप सबको पता है लेकिन क्या होता है उसमें अल्कोहल का परसेंटेज ज़्यादा होता है तो कई लोग डॉक्टर से विदाउट प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ये जो बेनेड्रिल है उसका यूज़ करते हैं इसी हम यहाँ पर लिख रहे हैं इफ ड्रग बिकम्स हार्मफुल और एडिक्टिव इफ मिस यूज सो हम सेकेंड ड्रग के बारे में बात करते हैं एटेनोलॉल सो वेन वी डिस्कस अबाउट एटेनोलॉल इट इज इंट्रोड्यूज इन रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ प्रोपेनोलॉल इन द ईयर ऑफ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन देन इट इज कंसिडर एज ए सिलेक्टिव बीटा रिसेप्टर एंटागोनिस्ट राइट विच इज कंसिडर इन ग्रुप ऑफ बीटा ब्लॉकर्स क्लियर रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ प्रोपेनोलॉल वो क्या होता है जैसे कि हमें पता है एक ड्रग आती थी एस्पिरिन ड्यू टू साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ एस्पिरिन वॉट विल हैपन सच ड्रग इज बैन इन सर्टेन कंट्रीज सो क्या हुआ उसके रिप्लेसमेंट में उसकी साइड इफेक्ट को रिमूव करके उसने इंट्रोड्यूस किया डिस्प्रिन हम सबको पता है अभी कई बार उसकी एड टी पे दिखाई देती है डिस्प्रिन राइट विच इज़ यूज फॉर हेडेक मेनली राइट सो इट इज अ रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ एस्पिरिन बाय द न्यू ड्रग विथ इम्प्रूवमेंट दैट इज डिस्प्रिन राइट सो बाय दिस वे दिस एटेनोलॉल इज इंट्रोड्यूस इन रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ propenolol clear also it is used as a primary drug for cardiovascular disease right and synthesis of atenolol is carried out in two step as we can see here right so first step is synthesis of 4 hydroxy phenylacetamide and the next step is conversion of 4 hydroxy phenylacetamide to 
at an alloy how it carried out let's see so here we can see that for hydroxyphenylglycine as we can define the IUPAC name as we num start numbering from here 1 2 3 4 that is 4 hydroxyphenyl and this one is the structure of glycine as we know right so it will becomes 4 hydroxyphenyl glycine when we carried out cyanation of 4 hydroxyphenyl glycine with the help of sodium cyanide in basic media with the use of NaOH in DMF as a solvent at 130 degree centigrade then it will be converted into 4 hydroxy benzyl cyanide right as we can see here that 4 hydroxyphenyl benzyl cyanide will be obtained then hydrolysis of cyanide will give us or hydrolysis and reaction hydrolysis of cyanide with con uh, which which will convert cyanide into acid and which react with ammonia to gives amide so we will get our final product that is 4 hydroxy phenyl acetamide also there is second way by which we can synthesize the same compound that is from 4 hydroxy phenyl acetic acid right when we carried out a reaction of 4 hydroxy phenyl acetic acid with alcohol as we know friends that reaction of alcohol will with acid will gives ester so we will get here ester and reaction of ester with aqueous ammonia will gives us the same product that is 4 hydroxy phenyl acetamide so this will becomes the first step or synthesis of intermediate in next step what will happen this 4 hydroxy phenyl acetamide with will react with epichlorohydrine so reaction of this 4 hydroxy phenyl acetamide with epichlorohydrine in piperidine as a solvent what will happen the hcl will loss this hydrogen and this cl will loss in form of hcl and we will get such type of compound then what will happen this uh, intermediate will react with isopropylamine right so how this carried out as we know the methylene of any epoxy is highly reactive we know that in uh, isopropylamine nitrogen having lone pair of electron so this hydrogen will loss in form of H minus right this bonding pair will attach or shifted over nitrogen and this lone pair will attack over methylene group this bond will break and this bonding electron will be shifted over oxygen so oxygen will get negative charge and it may happen that uh, this hydrogen will attach to oxygen so we will get such type of compound that is uh, this will becomes OH CH2 NH CH CH3 twice so this will becomes the final structure of ethanolol so by this way we can easily memorize synthesis of ethanolol in two easy step right and these are the important points which we have to remind to memorize ethanolol drug friends next important drug is adrenaline as we know it is a one kind of hormone right so it can be produced either by adrenal glands or by certain neutrons also it is important to know that uh, adrenaline is also known as epinephrine right so this important drugs play important role in either fight or fight response blood sugar pupil dilation and output of heart so these are the important points which we have to memorize or consider when we discuss about adrenaline now which are the ways by which we can take this drug adrenaline so there are number of ways right either by inhalation it is given intravenously just under the skin or into muscle so these are the ways by which we can take drug adrenaline now the important part of any drug that is synthesis of adrenaline so it is important to memorize 
the starting material of adrenaline that is catechol at we as we all are well known from catechol so when we react catechol with chloroacetyl chloride in pyridine then we get such type of intermediate so yaha hame ye janna zaruri hai as we know chloroacetyl chloride ke dono side chloride laga hua hai cl laga hua hai so kaun sa chloride attach hoga so as we know friends in chloroacetyl chloride one chlorine is attached to carbonyl while the remaining one is attached to ch2 so as we all know that uh, carbonyl is electron withdrawing group so the chlorine attached to carbonyl is easily replaced rather than this uh, chlorine attached to ch2 so what will happen when we carried out reaction of catechol with chloroacetyl chloride the hydrogen of oh from catechol and cl from uh, chloroacetyl chloride which is attached to carbonyl is removed in form of hcl and we will get such type of product now the next step is reaction of this intermediate with anhydrous alcl3 in uh, ch2 as a solvent and when we apply heat then what will happen the well known as we all know about it that is fries rearrangement so what will happen in fries rearrangement that the hydrogen at position 4 is replaced by the group which is attached to hetero atom right so co ch2 cl group will be attached to fourth position and the hydrogen of fourth position is attached to the hetero atom then the next step is reaction of this intermediate with methyl amine so what will happen friends hydrogen from amine and cl from ch2 is removed in form of hcl and we will get such type of product right the next is reduction in presence of nickel right so what will happen as we all know in case of reduction what will happen if we have aldehyde then it will be converted to alcohol that is primary alcohol upon reduction while if we have ketone then it will be reduced to secondary alcohol after reduction so here we have ketone so it will be reduced to secondary alcohol as we can see here and we will get our final structure of adrenaline so by this way we can easily memorize the synthesis of important drug adrenaline which are the uses as this uh, adrenaline drug is useful for cardiac arrest as well as superficial bleeding and also for the patient of asthma when other treatments are not effective then in such case this adrenaline will help to recover such patients so by this way we can easily memorize three important drugs that is ibuprofen or brufen atenolol and adrenaline so friends next important topic is dyes as we can see on the board that dyes so it is important for us to define the word dyes so it can be defined easily in a one line that color organic synthetic compound or mixture which is used to impart color on substrate such as cloth paper plastic leather in a stable manner then such important compound is known as dyes right so after define the word dyes we should know about the characteristics of dyes so it should resist the normal laundry or cleaning process and stable to light so these are the important characteristic or properties of dyes now we discuss about two or three important dyes out of which first one is orange to or beta naphthol orange so beta naphthol orange is mono azo acidic dye so what is mono azo acidic dye so as we can see in final structure that there is only one diazonium group so it is called 
monoazo. Why it is called acidic dye? As we can see here that uh, sulfonic acid group. So this dye is known as monoazo acidic dye. Now about the synthesis of dye, right? So important part that is sulfonic acid which is a starting material for orange to dye when we carried out reaction of sulfonic acid with NaNO2 and HCl at 0 to 5 degree centigrade then we will get such diazonium chloride salt of that particular starting material so this reaction is well known as we carried out in 12 science that uh, diazotization now what will happen this uh, benzene diazonium chloride salt when we react with beta naphthol in NaOH in basic media then we will get our final compound that is orange 2 dye right and this will becomes the structure the next important dye of our syllabus is chrysodine G which is also known as 2,4 diamino azobenzene right such dye is a mono azo basic dye so it is again important to know why it is mono azo basic dye as we can see from the final structure of chrysodine g that there is again only one diazonium group so it is called mono azo and uh, the final structure contains diamine group so it is also known as mono azo basic dye now when we discuss about synthesis then we can see here that when aniline is react with NaNO2 HCl at 0 to 5 degree centigrade again there is diazotization so it will give diazonium chloride salt when this diazonium chloride salt is react with metaphenylene diamine then we will get our final structure of chrysodine G now which are the uses so both these dyes are used for the dye of silk wool cotton leathers and papers so these are the two important dyes which are generally used and which are in the syllabus of bsc hi friends next important dye is oramine o right so it is considered in diphenylmethane group of dyes right it is first prepared by two scientists that is Ken and Caro right from Miklas ketone so in present it is also synthesized from oramine base right how let's see the synthesis of such dye that is dimethylaniline as we can see the structure right two moles of dimethylaniline and phosgene is react with each other to give Miklas ketone after loss of two moles of HCl right as we can see here right when this Miklas ketone react with NH4Cl ammonium chloride zinc chloride at 150 degree centigrade it will give oramine base right so we can see here the structure of oramine base then after when we introduce HCl so what will happen this NH will becomes NH2 right this pi bonding electron will be shifted between carbon and carbon of phenyl ring according to resonating form the there may be a double bond here or here right it will be shifted to the central position one of the pi bonding electron will be shifted between this carbon and nitrogen so nitrogen having four bond and it will gives positive charge and the remaining cl will attach at cl minus to give the salt which is known as or a mine O. So by this way we can easily characterize the properties of or a mine O and remain uh, remember the synthesis of or a mine 
oh which are the uses so it is a yellow color dye color is not fast but also it is used to dye pa paper silk jute leather wool etc right even color is not fast and destroyed by either oxygen alkali heat then uh, light hot water but due to cheap rate this uh, oramine o dye is mainly used nowadays so by this way we can memorize easily three important dyes that is beta naphthol orange 2 chrysodine g and oramine o at last friends don't miss to like and share the video subscribe the channel chemistry online by dr darshan jani and hit the bell icon to get regular notification of such important videos thank you thank you very much